Okay, today we're going to make our a wall that has a doorway in it. So it's going to be a six foot by eight foot wall. So let's get started by measuring from the edge of the paper to about three inches. Do that a couple, a couple places so you can draw a nice straight line that is parallel with the edge of the paper. Okay, um, now on that line, We are going to come up about an inch and a half, or actually an inch and a half. I'm gonna turn this around so you can kind of see. Um, it's eight feet, so we know that eight feet is on three quarter inch scale. So if this is three quarter of an inch, that's one foot. Two feet, count three quarters, one, two, three. Three feet, one, two, three four feet. So we know three inches is four feet. So six inches is eight feet right there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Measure up inch and a half. Also measure over. Well, if our wall is six inches, or sorry, six feet, so that's four feet, five feet, four and a half inches, it's gonna be six feet, right there. Four and a half, again, make a couple marks. So four and a half, turn it sideways. Again, I'll turn, uh, come up an inch and a half. And then draw uh, six inches from there up to the top on our marks. Put a mark right here. Okay. Now go ahead and finish off this at the bottom. And finish this off at the top. Okay. Now that's our wall. However, uh, we want a doorway in the middle, and our studs um, have to be set in a little bit because the wall from the other way is coming this way. So, um, what I'm going to do here is show you the boards that we're going to be using to make this wall in class. And you can see that they are about six inch, six, uh, six inches, half of half an inch wide. So the first thing I want to do is come in here, half an inch, put a mark like that, because that's going to be our wall from the other wall that we've we've already made. All right, half inch half inch, draw a line. So this part of the wall is really already made for the most part. I'm gonna do a little bit different with the top plate, but for the most part, this, wall is already, this part of the wall is already made. Okay, so that's the uh, wall going the other direction away into the, into the table, if you will. All right, now let's go ahead and draw our our sole plate. Again, about um, two inches wide. So you can see I'm on the one eighth or two sixteenths. And draw that there. And draw that there. And connect those lines inside these lines here, here, and here. Okay, so I have my sole plate there. Uh, I'm gonna have a board that goes up here, two by six. So again, here and here. And draw that in. Now, if you notice, I didn't go all the way to the top here. What's gonna happen up top here is my top sole plate and my top plate is going to go the top one there's two 
going to have a double top plate. So the top plate is going to go all the way to the end and go over top of the wall that we already created on each side. Okay. So that's going to go all the way across. Erase this little bit right here. Erase this right here. And then the, the one that goes underneath of that is going to be shorter. Again, eighth of an inch is two inches, two sixteenths on the all the way to there. There we go. And so this little piece is a little too high. And maybe I should have drawn that in first. And just like I will here. Then when I draw the uh, second line for this stud, it, I'll know where to stop. Okay. All right. So there's that part. Now we need in the center of our wall, let's go out here. It's four and a half. So we know that two and a quarter is center. Four and a half, so two and a quarter is center. Draw a somewhat light line here. Not too not too hard. All right. Um, our rough opening is supposed to be uh, 38 inches wide. So if you were to count that up, that's 16 inches. That's 32 inches. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. All right. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So that's two and one, two, three. Um, eights. So it means one and three sixteenths is going to be half is going to be halfway. So we can just do that here for the outside of our or inside of our, uh, I just want to check that, make sure I'm center. So I'm going to come to here and yeah, you can see I'm at three sixteenths there. So again, three sixteenths, one and three sixteenths, one and three sixteenths. Go ahead and create these, uh, trimmer studs. So again, don't go all the way up. We can finish that off later, but just gives us something to look at right now our trimmer studs because they're the inside of our um, now uh, this one remember was half an inch and that's what's going to go up here as our header or actually we might use this one as our header so if that's the case this is about three quarters of an inch Three quarters of an inch. So a little bit wider really than what the real model would be. But um, that's what we're going to do here. Three quarters of an inch down. Okay. Three quarters of an inch. Oh, so you know what? Yeah. So these are a little too long here. Cut that off. And so that's our doorway. Now our doorway was supposed to be 82 inches tall, but with the wood that we're using, we're not going to get quite that far. It is only going to be, well, you can see this is six feet. So that's uh, 72 inches, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, about 78, 79 inches tall. And again, this is going to get cut off. The sole plate down here is going to get cut off. So we're going to, so the doorway doesn't have a bottom to it. Grease all that. Okay. All right. Now we got to give thicknesses to our trimmer. Go all the way up to the the bottom, uh, the bottom uh, top plate. Make sure these are parallel. If you want to draw in your sixteenths uh, of an inch, that would probably have been the best. I'm sorry, two sixteenths. Now this is going to go all the way out to here, so that the header board 
is resting on top of the trimmer. Okay. And then again, measure out for our king stud here, eighth of an inch. And draw that in all the way to the top plate. Draw it in here. So if you put your pencil on the point and then bring your ruler to the point, to your pencil, there we go. And that's our wall. We don't need these pieces here. That's actually going to be from the other wall. We don't need this here. It's going to be from the side wall that we made the other day. All right. So that's all there is to it. Got a, a stud here, jack stud, a trimmer stud, uh, jack stud or trimmer stud, king stud, I should have said on the other side, and then just uh, a regular stud. Okay. And then we've got our top plates and our sole plate is very small.